everybody, it's Sally back again for another Teaching Tips. And I'm continuing the theme on repertoire rich teaching and ru running a repertoire rich piano studio. And today I just want to talk a little bit about own choice pieces and what to do when students bring along an own choice piece that is either too long or too hard or maybe even both. Now, it is important, I think, this idea of own choice pieces. This repertoire rich, this sort of 20 piece, 30 piece, 40 piece challenge, whichever, students need to feel involved in. It's their challenge after all. So I absolutely welcome them bringing their own choice of piece along. Now I had this happen to me uh, back in January. Uh, the student in particular had been given um, some new music by their parents for the Christmas break. And this was from the musical Matilda, and it was a book of easy piano, easy piano, um, selections from the songs. And the girl in question wanted to learn Naughty, yeah, which wasn't a piece I particularly knew, but she really liked it. And so um, she played me, she'd already started to learn it, and she'd done really, really well at it. However, this piece is 15 pages long. So it's a little long and she, she admitted, you know, I don't think I'm going to get and learn 15 pages because she is, um, what level is she? She's probably elementary one, something like that, yeah? Been learning a couple of years and making really good progress. So together, this was a really interesting learning experience for her because we had to decide where to stop the, the, the learning, so to speak. As part of the 20 piece challenge, it's on her 20 piece challenge sheet, how much are you going to learn? Because obviously 15 pages, she probably struggled to get to the end of that by the end of the year in July. So she was able to choose, because she knows the piece far better than me, exactly where she was going to learn to. And it was to the end of the first verse, and I think it was about three pages in. So that was a good learning experience for her that you don't have to do the whole piece and she knew where to stop, as I said. So that's the first thing. But the second thing that came out was this piece is an arrangement, clearly. And although it says easy piano, it's not for a beginner or even an elementary person. It is actually for somebody who is a little more adept and um, yeah, at reading, I think, than she is. And it's got lots of awkward things. It's not particularly well arranged, I have to say. It's got lots of awkward things. So even like at the, at the start, it starts with C, F and G with the left hand. And then the left hand, the right hand comes in with, it, with the G at the top. And so it's all fiddly and it's all like this. So it would have been much better to put that down there, I think. every note that's written because this is an arrangement it's not like a piece of Beethoven or a piece of Clementi or whatever it is an arrangement so to that extent we can take the melody and we can make the rest of it work around it again another really important lesson for her so that's my message for today really encourage them to bring their own choice pieces and then if they are too long or if they are too hard, find ways to work with them around that and get them to see that also in a positive light because there's something to be learned even in those situations. All right, I hope you're taking care wherever you are in the world. Happy teaching. See you soon.